This is not going to be a how to do video. This is going to be a what and why do we need this device. So if you really want to know those answers, keep watching and we will find out. So what is a Synology NAS or NAS as some people call it? What is it? Well, it is a mini computer that's got a hard drive base in it. It's running a modified version of Linux and they have their own applications that are running on it. So why did I buy this particular device last week? Well, I will show you why, because it comes with this application right here, Synology Photos, right there. So that's what I bought it for, strict, strictly for that application. So people will say, well, why in the world would you spend that kind of money to purchase a device just for your photos? Well, let me tell you. I have been collecting photos for many, many years, probably going back to the days of the Polaroid. That, and when my brother passed away, I collected all of his photo albums and my sister's photo albums, and I scanned them years ago. So I have thousands of photos going back to the 40s and 50s and the, even the 30s. So I want to preserve those, plus I want to be able to watch them on my big screen TV, or if I go visit relatives, I will bore them to death by showing them all these videos and pictures that I have taken throughout the years. So that is the purpose of this device. This photo app from Synology also set, has an app for your cellular phone, either Android or, or Apple, iPhone. And what that does, when you take a picture on your phone or video clip, it automatically uploads it to this server. So no matter where you're at in the world, and you take some photos, it automatically updates or uploads to your Synology NAS. Yes, I know, I have my Android phone set up, so it also sends my video clips and pictures that I take on my phone up to the Google Storage Cloud. However, I don't know what they do with it. I'm a control freak, and I like to have uh, control of my own media. So if uh, Google decides that they want to sell my videos or whatever they want to do with them, I don't like that. I got control of my own, so... Everything that I take on my phone goes to my personal collection on this NAS. Okay, I just told you what it is and why I'm using it. So now let's take a look and see exactly what it does. So here is your interface, the recently added people, places, tags, videos. Let's take a look at places. Now, it reads the metadata from these photos, so it tells you exactly where the picture was taken, if you did not turn that function off on your cellular phone. I prefer to have it on, but some people say they turn it off because they don't want to be tracked, but I like the benefit of it. So anyway, that's what you got right here. So under the places, here's the United States. Let's take a quick look at Temple, Texas. Now these are some old pictures. Again, these are from the 50s, I do believe. But those are taken years ago in Temple. And there's one right there with a the date on it, 5960. So moving on, that's the United States. Vietnam. Pictures from Vietnam. Now, this is my uh, son. He went to Vietnam for a uh, tour. And here's me when I was in Vietnam in 1968. Guatemala. Now, here's another tour that my son took to Guatemala. And Mexico. Here's some uh, pictures from Mexico. 1992 and 93. I even have one from South Korea. This was from my dad 
in the 50s when he was stationed in Korea during the Korean War. Then you have artificial intelligence, which identifies the people. Again, I've just installed this app and it just got done scraping. I have not added any names to this. So I will go through and add names and then it will uh, scan all the uh, photos and put the correct name for them. Okay, here's another picture. And that is Amanda Berger. So we're going to merge the two. So that's how that works. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I've added some names already. Here's this one here. And that's all you have to do right there. Here's the file station where you can add photos. However, I recommend you do not use this. Use a different application to transfer files. This one's kind of slow. So anyway, that's your data. Homes. Photos. And I'll add more pictures that I have in different places. So this is just the beginning. So that's why I bought it, so I can display these. Now next, we're going to go over to the TV, and I'm going to show you this app that runs on Android. I'm sure they have an app that runs on Apple also, but we're going to go to my big 65-inch screen and take a look and see what it does. This is the Windows app that I use to transfer files from my computer to this Synology NAS sync back free now that is a free windows app they may have one for apple but i'm not sure but i have three different uh, uh nasas i got a ds216 uh ds211j and this new 224 plus so that's the app i use right there to transfer files and it is fast okay let's take a look and see how it performs on this Android TV box. So there it is right there. Let's open it up and we will be logged in. That was fast. So you got photos, albums, recently added, that was my son's trip to Africa. That's him there, Africa. Then you got people. This is one you got artificial intelligence. Let's see if we can find the one where he, uh, there he is right there. Okay, he's the one that went to Africa. Okay, I'm not sure which one this is, but this I think this one's his trip to Vietnam. I don't know. He's all over the world. He likes to count, climb Mount Kilimanjaro and all of them. So he's been all over the world. Okay, so that's the people. Then you got places. Now this is where if you turn your cellular phone on or whatever device you're taking the picture of or video, if you enable the location, then you can uh, figure out where everything is coming from. South Korea, again, I showed you that. Guatemala, there was a strip to Guatemala. Vietnam, that was a strip to Vietnam. You can go as fast or slow as you want. But this little app running the, on your Android TV boxes are absolutely fantastic. So there's this trip to uh, Africa. 500 pictures on that one. 350 on this trip to Vietnam. That was me right there. These are oldies. Anyway, that's what this application does. So, yes, it costs is, uh, quite a bit of money to have the uh, Synology NAS, but it's very worth it. It's very, 
Very exciting to be able to watch all your uh, pictures and your videos directly from your TV anywhere in the world. I forgot to test out the videos. I think it had 2,000 videos on here. Now this one is almost nine hours. That was my brother and I trip across the country back September the 12th, 2023 last year. Quite all the way. Anyway, I used a uh, camera that was on my uh, GPS. Garmin GPS has a camera, so it takes uh, videos. September 25th when we stopped at a casino. We actually come out ahead in the thing. We made money. We paid for our dinner. Didn't make enough to pay for lodging, so we had to sleep on the street, but that was okay. We're used to sleeping on the street. So these are the videos. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you right there, what this thing is capable of doing. So, well worth the price. Well worth the price. If you're into uh, archiving your uh, photos and your uh, videos that you take from your phone or other cameras, because one of these days you're going to get old like me and you're going to do a lot of reminiscing, and that's what this is for, to reminisce.